Hi, this is Andrew Lin. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the effects of inflation on the U.S. dollar. This is a $20 bill. It's made mostly of cotton. And while its face value says $20, its intrinsic value is a fraction of a cent. This note has value because of what is called legal tender. This note is legal tender for all debts, public and private. This is basically a check from the Federal Reserve. But as the as the U.S. prints more and more of these, the value of these go down. This is honest money. This is a 1965 Kennedy half dollar. It's made of 40% silver and 60% copper. It has value because it has intrinsic value. While its face value is half a dollar or 50 cents, currently the silver in this coin, if you were to melt it down, is worth over $2.00. So I'm going to demonstrate how much we have devalued this currency relative to honest money. So in 2003, the average price of silver was 487 an ounce, and each of these coins contains 0.1479 of actual silver weight. So in 2003, one of these would buy you 28. Um, 40% silver half dollars. So we can repeat the calculation for different years. In 2004, it would it would still buy you quite a number of these, um, 22 to be exact. Okay. In 2005, you could get 20 of these. In 2006, remember this was when we were Going, we were seriously in war with Iraq, the Middle East. Oil was surging. We had Hurricane Katrina. At, in 2006, you could buy 12 silver half dollars with the same $20 bill. 2007, we're down to 10. 2008, and we're down to 9 silver half dollars for the same $20 bill. 2009. This is when we had um, the bailouts and the credit crunch and all that. So um, our dollar was actually quite strong as a result, and and silver prices were being manipulated and all that. So the same twenty dollar bill would still get you nine silver half dollars in 2009. And then fast forward to today, silver prices are about 17.50 an ounce. And each one of these coins is worth about five times face. So this $20 bill will only get you eight of these coins. So in a few short years, we've gone from 22 silver half dollars to eight with the same $20 bill. So if you look at these coins, I'm going to zoom in. That's, how, that's what inflation has looked like over the course of just eight short years. This is why I think uh, America is so much in debt. There's no reason for anyone not to get in debt when you can borrow 22 silver half dollars and only pay back eight. For the same reason, there's no incentive for anybody to save U.S. dollars when their savings are going to, when 22, when, for every 22 silver dollars they save, they're going to lose 14 of them. There's just no reason to save. So, um, a lot of you guys might be saying, well, I, I don't experience high inflation. Um, when I go to the store, I only see prices go up X or Y percent. Um, to that, I would say that um, there's a difference between consumer inflation, this is the price inflation you see when you go to, say, Walmart, and then there's uh, monetary inflation. Um, there, there are reasons why consumer prices would go down, and a price, say the price of... Um, an apple is dependent on the value of the apple and the currency you're purchasing it in. And um, as technology becomes better and better, the the value, the, the 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 real price of goods and services should go down because less resources need to be consumed to produce the good or service. So in an in an honest economy, prices should actually go down, and we could actually see that in uh, gas prices. Um, 
in 2003, um, gas was hovering around $1.50 a gallon and one of these coins at the time was worth about 75 cents. You can do the calculation. Just take the silver price and multiply it by the actual silver weight, which is 0.1479. So two of these coins would get you a gallon of gas. And today, two of these coins would be worth five dollars. And um, you could actually get quite a bit more than a gallon of gas with two silver half dollars. So, in terms of real money, that is gold or silver gas prices have actually gone down so there's a quite a big difference between consumer price inflation and asset price inflation or monetary inflation in fact um, you can google this I'll put a link up it's uh, shadow stats sh shadow government stats it's a private um, private organization that has been measuring true inflation rates Manipul um, inflation is manipulated um, by a, quite a few means actually there's a uh, substitution if the government sees that the price of certain goods is going up too fast they manipulate it they cut it out of the basket of goods that it's measured in um, there's hedonics uh, basically they ex the government says that uh, prices are expected to go up because the quality of goods and services is also going up um, also if we look at the core inflation uh, food and uh, fuel prices are not included um, basically because they're too volatile but um, I think it's because they they go up the most so um, it's it's quite 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 a uh, it's quite deceiving to look at CPI inflation rates um, I'll do another video about uh, shadow government stats at another time okay um, good luck collecting bullion